Scoot Henderson versus Brandon Miller. Who will perform better in the NBA? In the wake of the NBA draft buzz surrounding Victor Webanyama, two other names have emerged as game changers, Brandon Miller and Scoot Henderson. Miller, the new Hornet, brings a potent mix of athleticism and shooting prowess, ready to help Charlotte break their playoff drought. Meanwhile, Henderson, now a trailblazer, is set to ignite Portland's backcourt with his G League hone skills. Fans can expect a thrilling basketball season as these rookies step onto the court. Both players have shown immense potential, and their arrival signals an exciting era of basketball. The addition of Brandon Miller to the Charlotte Hornets roster presents an intriguing dynamic, especially when considering his potential partnership with LaMelo Ball. Ball, the former Rookie of the Year, is known for his exceptional playmaking abilities and court vision. Pairing him with a scoring machine like Miller could create one of the most exciting backcourts in the NBA. He could be the missing piece of the puzzle the Hornets have been searching for. Miller's scoring prowess will undoubtedly take some pressure off Ball, who led the team in scoring last season. With Miller on the court, defenses will have to split their attention, giving Ball more room to operate. This could lead to an increase in efficiency for Ball, who already boasts an impressive career field goal shooting average of 46.4%. The long-rumored sale of the Charlotte Hornets is finally a reality. Michael Jordan, who owns majority stakes in the Hornets, is selling his shares to Gabe Plotkin and Rick Schnall for a reported $3 billion valuation. With Jordan's departure as majority owner, the Charlotte Hornets face a significant transition period. His last major decision was calling the shot to draft Brandon Miller as their number two pick. Before we continue this video, are you ready to showcase your love for the game and make a statement with premium merch? At Full Court, we believe basketball is more than just a game. It's part of our culture and identity. That's why we've curated a collection of merch that captures the essence of your favorite sports teams and players to celebrate the memories that unite us. And here's the best part. Full Court offers free worldwide shipping. No matter where you are, you can join our global community and showcase your passion for basketball. Visit our website, letsplayfullcourt.com and explore our merch. You can also find a link below this video in the description. Ooh, let's play Full Court, baby. Your go-to channel for the most interesting basketball topics on and off the court. The decision to draft Brandon Miller over Scoot Henderson has certainly raised some eyebrows. Scoot Henderson, a dynamic guard out of Georgia, is undoubtedly a talented player with a bright future. His explosiveness, scoring ability, and defensive prowess make him a coveted prospect. However, when it comes to building a team, it's not just about individual talent, but also how pieces fit together. Scoot Henderson, a 6'3 point guard, is worth watching. His speed, agility, and playmaking abilities have drawn comparisons to some of the best guards in the league. However, when it comes to the Charlotte Hornets' specific needs and the potential fit with the existing roster, Brandon Miller might edge out Henderson. The Hornets already have a promising young point guard in LaMelo Ball, who has shown that he can lead the team's offense. Drafting another point guard in Henderson could have led to positional overlap and potentially hindered Ball's development. On the other hand, Miller, a shooting guard small forward, fits perfectly into the Hornets lineup. His scoring ability complements Ball's playmaking skills, and his size and defensive prowess add another dimension to the Hornets' game. Plus, Miller's versatility allows him to play multiple positions. This flexibility is valuable in today's NBA, where positionless basketball is becoming increasingly prevalent. Paul George is often cited as Miller's NBA comparison, but it'll take some work for Miller to reach this level. George has been an excellent defender throughout his NBA career, while Miller was a decent one at Alabama. Only a handful of six foot eight players can space the floor and legitimately create their own shot off the dribble, and Miller and George are two of them. In terms of potential, both Miller and Henderson have high ceilings. However, Miller's physical attributes combined with his skill set give him the edge. His height, wingspan, scoring ability, and basketball IQ 
make him a matchup nightmare for opposing teams. So, did Michael Jordan make the right decision with choosing Miller? Only time will tell. Draft decisions are always a gamble, and it's impossible to predict with certainty how a player will develop and perform in the NBA. However, based on the current situation and needs of the Hornets, it seems like drafting Brandon Miller was a calculated and strategic move. It's a decision that could shape the future of the Charlotte Hornets in a positive way. Scoot Henderson is quickly becoming synonymous with raw talent, potential, and promising future. The young prodigy, freshly drafted by the Portland Trailblazers, is a beacon of hope for the team and its fans. Henderson is poised to significantly impact the team with a unique blend of athleticism, skill, and a relentless drive to win. Standing at 6'3", weighing in at 195 pounds and only 19 years old, Henderson is a physical specimen. His explosive speed, agility, and impressive vertical leap make him a nightmare for defenders. He's a natural scorer with a knack for getting to the rim and finishing with authority. But it's not just his scoring ability that sets him apart. Henderson is a well-rounded player with a keen understanding of the game that exceeds his age. In his final season before entering the draft, Henderson averaged an impressive 23.3 points, 7.1 assists, and 4.6 rebounds per game. These stats speak volumes about his versatility and ability to contribute in multiple ways. He's not just a scorer, he's a playmaker, a facilitator, and a relentless competitor. But what does Henderson's arrival mean for the Trailblazers? Henderson's arrival in Portland comes at a critical time. The Trailblazers are in the midst of a rebuilding process, and there's been speculation about the future of their star player, Damian Lillard. Lillard has been the heart and soul of the franchise for years, but there are rumors that he's not interested in being part of a rebuild. Henderson's potential is undeniable. He has the raw talent and the work ethic to become a star in the NBA. His arrival could provide the spark the Trailblazers need to kickstart their rebuilding process. With him leading the charge, the team could transition smoothly from the Lillard era. If Lillard does decide to move on, it would be a significant loss for the Trailblazers. After being asked about hypothetical trades to the New York Knicks, Miami Heat, Boston Celtics, and Brooklyn Nets, Lillard, who hasn't requested a trade, expressed in an interview that Miami and Brooklyn would be the most compelling of the four teams if he were indeed dealt. If this happens, it could open up opportunities for Henderson to step into Lillard's role as a point guard and become the franchise's new face. He has the talent and the potential to be a star in the NBA, and under the proper guidance, he could develop into one of the league's top players. As for Lillard, a trade could be beneficial for both parties. For Lillard, it could provide an opportunity to join a championship contending team. For the Trailblazers, it could bring in valuable assets to support their rebuild. The Trailblazers now find themselves with an exciting decision to make. Having two point guards of such caliber could be a blessing in disguise. The NBA has seen a trend of successful two guard lineups in recent years. The Golden State Warriors, Splash Brothers duo of Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson is a prime example. Henderson's size and athleticism could allow him to guard multiple positions, making a Lillard-Henderson backcourt a viable option. This setup could provide a dynamic, high-scoring backcourt that could be a nightmare for opposing defenses. Both players have shown exceptional talent and potential. But the question remains, who will perform better in the NBA? While not definitive, the answer leans towards Scoot Henderson, primarily due to his experience playing in the G League Ignite. However, it is crucial not to discount Brandon Miller's potential and his competition in the NCAA. Scoot Henderson's experience in the G League Ignite has given him a unique advantage. The G League Ignite has been a breeding ground for NBA-ready players, with the likes of Jalen Green and Evan Mobley being the products of this program. The level of competition in the G League Ignite is arguably higher than the NCAA, which could give Henderson an edge in terms of experience 
and readiness for the NBA. The G League Ignite offers a level of competition closer to the NBA than the NCAA. This experience has allowed Henderson to develop his game against professional level competition, which could translate to a smoother transition into the NBA. His scoring and playmaking abilities, coupled with his experience in the G League, make him a strong contender for superior performance in the NBA. On the other hand, Brandon Miller has demonstrated his talent as the top freshman in college basketball with solid shooting, defense, and rebounding skills. His performance in the NCAA, one of the most competitive college basketball leagues, should be noticed. The NCAA has produced numerous NBA stars, and Miller's potential could see him join those ranks. However, the NCAA and the NBA are different beasts. The transition from college to the professional league can be challenging, and how well Miller's skills will translate to the NBA remains to be seen. Despite this, his potential is undeniable, and with the right development, he could become a significant player in the league. We would love to hear your thoughts on these two players. Comment below who you think will perform better and why. We hope you enjoyed our video topic today. Interact with us, subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any topics you would like to see on this channel, Full Court.